Once again, welcome back to another episode of Mr. Ben Plays Pokemon Violet. Last we left off, we made it to Glacido Mountain. And we see a wild Glaceon. Who decides? <laughs> that, uh, you know, it wants to make friends with us. Or maybe it just wants us to chill us to the bone. Either way, I don't want to knock this out. I mean, I could go ahead and hit it with a fire fang, but at the same time, I'm like, I really would rather not. Oh, also, there's a frost lass. I guess uh, she wants a little bit of this. We'll go ahead and uh, catch that. Oh! One more bite ought to do it. go! Glaceon was caught. Lowers its body heat to freeze its fur. The hairs then becomes needles it can fire. Oh. Kind of surprised that the uh, Frostlust didn't want to... You sure you don't want some of this? Maybe you want to come into the quick ball. No? Okay. Ooh! Almost. Almost. Well, guess I don't have to worry about uh, evolving that one snow run I caught from the last recording. Freezes prey by blowing its negative 58 degree Fahrenheit breath. It is then said to secretly display its prey. Creepy, but... Anywho, let's keep moving on. I do hope that if uh, we make it to the Glacier Gym, that we could go ahead and just fast travel there without having to go all the way back up the mountain. I kind of wanted to get to the gym last recording, but I kept getting distracted by wild Pokemon battles and trainers. Which is this thing right here. And that woman right off in the not too far distance. Careful there, young one, she says. Alright. I have an Ultra Ball. I also now have a Bergmite. Bully for me. <laughs> Bergmite protects itself by coating its body in ice formed by a frigid air of a negative 148 degrees Fahrenheit. It's even colder than the frost lass. It fights with frigid masks whenever they meet. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, frigid bags. I don't understand that. That's a uh, ice and dragon type, if I'm not mistaken. Can't wait to find that so I can catch that. Add that to the team. <laughs> you ought to be careful. There's no shortage of strong trainers in these parts. Really, you're really the only the second one I found. Although I am kind of curious why you decided to uh, train a dragon air up in the icy mountains, considering that dragons are weak to ice. I can only assume that you're trying to overcome its ice weakness and build up a resistance to that. Ooh, nice hit. But that was your only Pokemon, so... I suppose none of the other trainers were as strong as you. Weak trainer could never make it up here. I apologize for judging you prematurely. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. Of course there's a fast travel option up here. There's a Pokemon Center right here. Hell yeah. That's the Glaceau Arena. Oh. Oh, so that's where the Pokemon Center is. It's just up slightly further. Right up here. Right. How, many, how many trainers are on this mountain? Two trainers here. Once you defeated ten trainers, I'll get a lovely prize. Nice. Okay. Would very much love to heal my team. Thank you very much. Alrighty. Snowscape. User summons a snowstorm lasting five turns. Wait, so what's the difference between a snowstorm and hail? Uh, let me just... Oh, that... Oh, snowscape, yeah. It boosts the defense stats of ice types. Interesting. So it doesn't deal any damage. Yeah, five turn sandstorm is summoned to damage all Pokemon except rock, ground, and steel types. It also boosts the special defense stat of rock types. Huh. I'll look up that a little bit more in depth. Welcome to the Glaciato Gem. I'm going to register you as a challenger. Your name is Mr. Ben. Yes? Great. Now, in order to face the gem leader, Grusha, you'll first need to pass the gem test. That means doing the snow slope run. Ride a Pokemon down the designated course and try to reach the goal within the time limit. To start your test, just head out of the gem and go up the slope to your left. We'll fill you in on the details out there. Get out there and have some fun. Oh, and this item respawned. All right. Huh. Oh, so that's the snow slope. Okay. Hey there, I've been waiting for you. This is where the snow slope run starts. Your task is to ride a Pokemon all the way down the course. It's a slippery, slidey nature trail. Reach the finish line within the target time, and you'll have passed the test. Ready to take on the gym test by taking on the snow slope run? Ready to go. Let's get this test started then. Enjoy the winter wonderland on your way down. Huh. 
Oh, there's actually a Terra Crystal on here? Oh, this is a slalom run? Okay. So I have to make it a minute 30, okay. difficult. Huh. Congratulations on completing the run. That was some of the best sledding I've ever seen. Almost like seeing Grush in his prime again. Oh, and you've obviously passed the gym test with flying colors. Go let the receptionist know. Hell yeah. Come on, then. Get down here. Get down here! It's fine. Huh. Triagonal. Are you still capable of learning a track? Probably not. I never would have anticipated seeing this Pokemon being reused again. Curious about people, they gather around footsteps they find on snowy mountains. Nah, let's not give it a nickname. <laughs> well, since the uh, fire bang was a little bit too strong for you. Oh goodness, okay. Uh, would you like a blue Pokeball instead? No? Alright, what about a white one as fresh as the fallen snow? All of its defenses, all of its stats rose. Uh... Grace, get in there and put it to sleep. Oh, that old uh, sound effect from Gen 1. I gotta love it. Come on. You can do better than that. That's a girl. That's my girl. Worst comes to worst, we'll just knock it out and try again later with one of these other triagonals on here. 
There we go. Uh, what are you gonna learn from the last? Craig only uses his change of light, chains of ice to constrict its opponents and then flash freezes them where they stand. You know, you're quite weak to fire. I'm just gonna knock you out. I'll just take the free XP. Because uh, I don't know what else is gonna face me down here on the mountain. Oh, I can't go up the... <laughs> I was about to say, I can't go up the uh, the walls here. Foul play, what is... All of these physical moves, goodness. the target's attack stat. That's more power than bite. <laughs> Delibird parcel? Okay. Biting type Fido? I don't think I'll go with that. I will take the free LP though. I've got three gem badges. Good for you. I've got five. I failed the interview at the Pokemon League. Mark goes to the black belt. Pomot. Not very effective. I've got three gym badges and still got beat by some little kid. Well, I mean, yeah. What's this item up here? Anything up on this particular ledge? No? Okay. Well, ow. It's just as well, I don't care for Delibird as it is anyway, at least in his base form. Yeah, this is the regular ice flying deli bird. Isn't it? Yeah, ice and flying. I actually don't like deli bird. At least not in this form. I was really surprised when uh, I heard that they came out with a new form for this game. I was kind of hoping it would replace it just as like a regional form, but it looks like I think it's a paradox form. I'm not going to be too terribly worried about it right now. Oh, that is another Pokemon Center all the way down there. And... I'm just going to continue going on this way. Alright, so... Monte de Verva... Monte de Nervo. Fair enough. Okay, that's... Yeah. That's another city right there. 
And there's that other Pokemon Center I was looking at from higher up. I twisted my ankle climbing over some rocks. Maybe a battle will distract me from the pain. Shouldn't you be having a be a bit more concerned with like, you know, freezing to death up here? Although I'm one to speak, considering I don't exactly have a winter outfit up here either. I forgot about my ankle, but now my pride hurts. Go ahead and take some of these other items. Oh, that's a Grievary. Okay, I thought that was another. I thought these were items. Nope. Just candlesticks on top of candlesticks. Buried in the snow. And we made it to the City of Ice. Monte Never... Monte ne Never... Uh, Monte Never... Uh. <sighs> Isn't Snurrunt cute? Only the females have a chance of evolving to Frostlass. Yeah, I knew about that. Alrighty. I would love to heal my Pokemon. And since we took care of another gem test, we might as well go ahead and uh, take this one on too. Because why not? There is the gem. Oh, it's right up there. How prominent. Welcome to Monte Never. I'm never gonna get this name pronounced right. Welcome you. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Mr. Ben, yes? Great. In order to face Gym Leader Rhyme, you will need to first pass the gym test. Here at this gym, that means warming up the audience for a main event. Well, hey, I got a fire type on my team. That's right, you're the opening act. Your job is to get up on stage, show some dead fierce Pokemon battles, and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking with MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. Get out there, have some fun. Well, let's go ahead and save our adventure thus far. Because this is going to be ghost types. Then Anubis is basically going to be carrying us over these next uh, couple of gems here. Hey, it's Moist Critical! What are you doing here, bud? <laughs> Yo, trainer. You're the one performing the opening act today. Name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. Here's the deal. We're going to have you do some double battles. That's where you have two Pokemon fight on each side. That'll let you Sledge double the opponents and get the audience twice as excited. Benny will be so hot, it'll let the Monte Never... Never... Monte Never... Monte Never... Never snow. <laughs> Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leader to take the stage. That's how you pass your gym test, yo. Alright, let's do this shit. Opening act begins as soon as you get on stage. There'll be no backing down until you win three times in a row. Make sure you're ready. Get on the deeds for the opening act and our gym test. Ready to sledge them up. Yep. I am ready. Alright, let's do this shit. Sweet, just play it by ear. You'll do great. Head on to the stage. My apologies to Moist Critical for that impression. <laughs> oh! My deepest apologies. What's up, Munted Nervera? Today's opening act will be three back to back double battles by our challenger here, Mr. Ben. And the first of their three opponents will be a young performer who makes it look like a breeze. The one! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I thought that was the kid. The one, the only, tool-assisted speedrun. 
double bells. That means one plus one, right? Can you do that math? Challenged by Chimp Trainer Tass. He sends out a shove to Green Bird. You know what? This is good because even though I do have a uh, champion in the party. He also has a bite attack. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kinda glad that we got some uh, double battle action going on here. One plus one is two, right? Right? Yeah. The audience is cheering, got a little louder. But the never a stage is all the latest tech. The more the excited gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging, you got this. And our challenger's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lonnie! Strong compliments weak. The harmony of two Pokemon battling in unison. Alright, Gym Trainer Lonnie. Who has a Haunter and a Mistrevis. Alright. Let's go ahead and Oh, I did knock it out with one hit. Oh, okay. Trainer might actually be really good. Come on, you can do it! Oh, we got a... Hell yeah, we got a boost from the audience. That's actually pretty amazing. Why is your hair clipping through your cheek? That wasn't harmony, it was cacophony. It, was, it wasn't harmony, it was cacophony. The audience is getting really excited. The opening acts turn the cheering and the stage lighting up to 11. What a surprise from our new challenger. Who'd have thought they'd sludge it up this much? Next is your last opponent, and it's none other than me, MC Sledge. Being an MC isn't my only forte. I can battle too. I'll sledge you up real good in a double battle. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a capture of that. Definitely want to go ahead and hit that with a dark move. But I'm going to switch things up. I'm going to Dragon Claw that Sableye. Oh! Okay. Unique strategy there, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so Sableye hits Anubis with a mean look. <laughs> nice move choice, he's really sledging up MC Sledge. Yeah, there's no way we can lose. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and Fire Fang that. The uh, Dragon Claw again. Do 
it was you who sledged me up. The audience's excitement has reached a fever pitch. <laughs> Whoa, awesome, that was a great battle. How lucky, that was a rare sight. Thank you, Mr. Ben. Congratulations, you passed the gem test. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Alrighty, and with that, that's all the gem tests. <laughs> I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto! Ready to go for the main event? Come on, everyone, say it with me. It's what you've all been waiting for. Give it up for the MC of Rip Rhyme! Are we just gonna go right into the gym battle? Wait a minute. Wait! <laughs> What's all this noise I'm hearing? The crowd's so loud it could wake the dead. Wait! That is the gym teacher! I'm not the gym teacher, that's the... That's the academy teacher! <laughs> Let me tell you what I wanna hear, y'all feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good! Rhyme, 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 woo! Thanks for the killer open it, baby. Now I'll get this started for real. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Give us a minute for some rhyme time, you feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staff where you passed. Okay, uh... I need... I need a... Oh, goodness. I need to, uh heal my party up but I think we're gonna go ahead and uh... oh, I don't want to I don't want to talk to that machine I want to talk to you I'm thinking next time on mr. Ben plays Pokemon Violet um, I say let's do it we're uh, we're up in the, the mid 40s I'm thinking it's time we go at least for at least another gym badge who knows? Maybe I might feel crazy enough to take on all three of them. But that will be for next time. I will see you guys in the next episode. Later, y'all.